Wait, Wale. I, I heard. I, why, why do people try to cook with coconut oil? Why, 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 I heard it's clogging, it's clogging people's arteries up. Why do they cook with? Uh, why do they cook with coconut oil? This is a terrible thing. Like I, I believe that it's the ignorance that causes people to just cook with coconut oil, and it's not it's not anything terrible, because ignorance the the definition of ignorance is ignoring facts. So when we have the facts that coconut oil now now you have the facts we have the facts now that we have the facts that coconut oil when it's heated past 180 degrees becomes carcinogenic in nature hopefully since you tuned in today you know that you shouldn't be doing that hey what's up guys welcome back to untapped healing where we help you tap into your healing potential in today's episode we're going to be going deep on dr sebi's approved oils it's going to be a short episode though but we're just going to be talking about dr sebi approved oils how some are meant for cooking and how some are not meant for cooking. The ones that are meant for cooking, why, and the, the ones that aren't, and why. So let's get right into it. So doctor said be approved oils, but while I use canola oil, but what about the vegetable oil? The, the, the ve no, you can't use these oils. These oils aren't meant for human consumption. They become carcinogenic in nature just off the rip because the processing that goes to actually extracting the oil in its form, they're, they're, they're not healthy. And then we heat them and then they just become even more cancerous. We just stay away from these oils. Those that we can cook with, it's not that we don't use oils now, is we have oils that we can cook with. And we cook with, so Dr. Sebi says to cook with avocado oil, says to cook with sesame oil, cook with hemp seed oil, and cook with grapeseed oil. These oils can be heated past 180 degrees. Ideally, you don't wanna be cooking your food too far past 180 degrees, but they can be heated past 180 degrees. The other oils that Dr. Sebi approves that should not be heated, do not heat these oils. It's coconut oil and olive oil. Beautiful olive oil, make sure you get the organic, like, even even better, make, make sure you, you get the, the time that it was, it was made. So if you if you have your, your guacamole, throw your olive oil in there, you me, there's no heat going into that, so you get the, the, the nice whatever. Or if you want on your salad or whatever, throw the olive oil fresh that way to get your mug like 369s, whatever. But you wanna make sure that you are making your meals with oils that are approved that could be heated past 180 degrees. So what happens when you heat oils that are not supposed to be heated past 180 degrees? You don't want to do that. Why don't we want to do that? When it's heated past 180 degrees, it becomes carcinogenic in nature. When you are consuming foods that are carcinogenic in nature, it causes mutations in your cells and you don't need mutations in your cells. That's how diseases like cancers form or going bad cholesterol, diabetes, all of these diseases that form because your body is in dis-ease because you're con consuming foods that are carcinogenic in nature. There's a lot of class one carcinogens that we consume on a daily basis. We will yell at our friend for smoking a, 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 a cigarette and we'll yell at our friend from drinking alcohol all the time because they are class one carcinogens and you're like, oh my gosh, don't do that. That's a class one carcinogen. But then when you consume certain oils that are cooked, it's the same thing. When you consume, consume certain animals that are killed, like it's the same thing. You want to make sure that you are not consuming any carcinogens and by simply, just simply, by simply getting uh, a cold press oil, avocado oil, and instead of using vegetable oil to cook your food, I mean to, 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 to fry your food, like really will change your life. It'll allow healing to occur even while eating your cooked dish. Raw, organic, everything cold press, cold press oils. Get your oils, get your oils cold press. You don't want them heated. You want the heated oils. You know? And that is all today, guys. Thank you for tuning in, and I hope that this information is something that you will go forth and apply. It's really easy, and really like I, I, I love the the advice because like it's really easy to switch. It's not about eliminating; it's about replacing. And there's very easy ways to replace foods and still enjoy and get your healing. Where's it at? Unrefined, chemical-free, non-GMO, USDA, organ, organ. Do you understand? Thank you guys for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Wait, Wale. What about canola oil? My, my, my mother uses canola oil to make sweet pack oil. It's so sweet every time. 
But she says hot healthy. Why, 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 why is canola oil not on Dr. Sebi list? Can, canola, canola oil. So Sebi doesn't like canola oil because the extract that canola comes from is a hybridized plant. And Sebi does not like hybridized foods that were hybridized unnaturally. See, there's nothing wrong with hybridized plants because there are some plants that in nature have sex and they actually form a new plant and that's okay. But then the unnatural ones are the ones that are forced. The plants that cannot replicate themselves, the fruits that cannot make seeds and be planted in and make more of itself. If a plant cannot make more of itself and a human needs to come in to help it grow, Dr. Sebi does not approve those foods because they are acidic. The body does not know what to do with it. So you have to make sure that you are consuming foods that the oil that is derived from it does, is, is not hybridized and is not carcinogenic in nature. Because if you get a hybridized food and make an oil extract of it, then it becomes carcinogenic in nature, causing cancers down in the end, back in the day. Is that, is that, a, you good? You got, got that? Yes, I understand now. I, but wait, wait, Wale. Wale, which oil has the highest heating point? that I can cook with it before I start smoking. Which one can I use to cook with the highest heat? If you want to heat your food to blazing temperatures, I really don't recommend that. You, you want to keep your, your, your food, you want to keep the nutrients together, everything bind together. But if you really want to burn the mess out of your food, you can use avocado oil because its heating point is way higher than all the other oils that Sebi approves for cooking. So use avocado oil and you will be okay to heat your food to 12,000 degrees. No, like 500 something. 500 something? 500 something. Yeah, 500. <laughs> but no, no <laughs> recommendations on, on, on heating your food to that level. You want to be keeping your nutrients. So you want to, if you're, if whatever food you're eating, you want the nutrients to be together. And that's all guys, I guess. The questions are done for today. And now that you know the facts, don't ignore the facts, because then you'll be ignorant. And we don't want to be ignorant. We want to be blessed. <laughs>